portrait of the artist as a young man set in Ireland at the turn of the century follows Stephen Dedalus's development from a bright young student to a promising clergy student to an artist. In the introduction, as a timid child who doesn't socialize easily, Stephen is bullied on the playground because of his small size and shy demeanor and pushed into a ditch as a young student. When his glasses are broken following an accident, he's beaten by a teacher. Family and friends at a Christmas dinner represent some of the differing political attitudes pervading Ireland at the time, both for and against the Irish independence movement. As Stephen grows older and begins to develop love interests, he romanticizes prominent political figures and fantasizes about the nature and landscape of the afterlife, showing tendencies of the strong imagination of an artist. In the rising action, as Stephen matures, school authorities try to persuade him to join the priesthood. In many ways, joining such a large institution makes sense. His family is Catholic and would see a life with the clergy as a fine vocation. The priesthood would offer stability as well. Also, Stephen's family changes homes several times during Stephen's youth due to his father's financial irresponsibility. As he gets older, Stephen begins to visit prostitutes in Dublin. This habit becomes increasingly hard to reconcile with his potential priestly calling, and his guilt becomes more than he can bear, and he confesses as he visits a priest. The last episodes in the book are a series of epiphanies and exchanges. In the climax of the legendary modernist novel, Stephen comes to realize he has no zeal for the religious life and decides instead to become an artist. In the falling action, Stephen sees a woman on the beach who represents, in his creatively inspired state, art itself. Later, on the streets of Dublin, Stephen encounters again a woman he loves and declares his intentions to her. In the resolution, Stephen declares his artistic ambitions. As readers last glimpse the artist, he vows to forge the uncreated conscience of his race or express to the world his sense of beauty and truth in the way he knows best through art.